Hi everyone and welcome back to part three of my Engage uh, micro layout in a box an experiment in time and cost. So what have I done? Okay so the uh, track is all laid um, as was before but I've built up all the um, landscape around the outside and that was with Celotex and I've put plaster bandage uh, over that uh, also put plaster bandage over the central part here painted the bridge uh, that's not fixed in yet because I've still got to ballast so what I've done to disguise the Cato track is I've used some air drying clay around the outside edges uh, and I'm still waiting for that to go off it's taking an age and then I'll ballast that and then I'll give the uh, ballast an airbrushing um, so to colour the, the, the track, the roadbed and the uh, ballast all in one. Um, now over here I've had a rethink um, so it's not going to be a farm anymore uh, as it was built up it just didn't kind of look right so I thought well what else can I do and I came up with an idea that uh, this part here where I've concealed the controller I thought I'd make that into a ruined folly. Now, given the nature of this experiment, I thought uh, that making it a folly would be slightly ironic, given that that could be what this whole thing turns out to be. Uh, so what I've done, if I pull that off, um, I've literally put the original control knob inside this circular piece of uh, tube, put some embossed plastic card around the outside, uh, so that will be painted up and this whole section here I'll very carefully remove it that comes off to reveal the battery compartment and if the controller ever went wrong I could actually extract that and change it um, so what I'm going to do now let's pop that back what I'm going to do now with this bit this will be another ruin because I felt that this was starting to look a bit like a moat round some sort of ruined castle so I think this will be a a ruin inside the top of here uh, and that's probably my next job so uh, where we're at time wise so a total time spent so far of nine and a half hours um, you're probably thinking blimey he hasn't done much in nine and a half hours but I did also make some little um, tree armatures I don't know whether you can see that out of uh, brass wire I've twisted them together and soldered them soldered them so they'll, they're a bit big at the moment, they'll probably need cutting down. But I thought, well, I'll get that done while I was waiting for something to dry. So we're nine and a half hours in. So total cost so far for materials and my time hypothetically at £10 an hour. So we're £130 into this project at this stage. Um, but as... Um, commenters have said before I mustn't lose sight of the fact that this isn't totally all about cost this is enjoyment as well because it is after all our hobby um, so anyway that, that's what we've uh, done so far uh, so I hope you join me for part four uh, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you soon cheers everyone stay safe <laughs>